Hello, let's continue the special function series. In the last episode, we used a gamma function to derive the Stirling's formula. Today, we will derive the general formula for the asymptotic expansion of gamma function. I will cite three results from my previous videos, and I put the links under this video so you can watch them. By the way, maybe this is the first video to cover this general case. And we will use this formula to derive a very important property in the next episode. So let's get started. Here is the definition of asymptotic equality. Recall Sterling's formula we derived in the last episode. By definition, we write it in this way. First, let's deal with the numerator. Recall the property 1 we derived in the episode 1. After replacing the numerator, we got here. Next, we simplify these three terms. Note for this exponential term, it's flipped to the numerator. Now we replace z with z plus a. So we got here. Then we divide and multiply this blue term in the denominator. For this term, we simplify it in this way. For the numerator, we write this green term in this form. I copy it here. Then we write it into the product of two limits. We define this limit as capital A. And let's calculate this limit first. We write the denominator in this way. Because this function is continuous, we put the limit in the denominator. Then we write it into the product of two limits. Recall the limit we derived in the previous video. Plug in and we got here. They cancel out. The remaining limit is easy to compute. So we got this limit equals 1. Plug in and we got here. Next, we put this exponential term in the denominator. I copy them here. We insert these green terms here. Then we simplify these two terms. And combine these two terms. So we got here. Finally, by definition, we got this general formula. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a like.